In this video, we're going to take a look at the vision capabilities of the Phi 3 large language model by Microsoft. And specifically, we're going to focus on whether we can use it for automated web UI testing. So here is the screenshot of the application that we're going to use. And it's exactly the same screenshot that I used uh, a week ago when I made my video uh, comparing the GPT-40 and GPT-4 Turbo uh, vision capabilities. We are also going to use exactly the same prompt as I used last time. So here it is. First part is the system prompt. So that one, and we say that you are an expert at testing user interface of web applications. You will be provided with a screenshot of a web application interface. Analyze the attached screenshot very carefully because you will be asked very detailed questions about it. Then for the user part, uh, we put this. The attached picture is a screenshot of a web application that you are testing. You need to make sure that the conditions listed in the below conditions tag are met. If all conditions are met precisely as expected, answer with only the text test passed and do not output any other text. If even one of the conditions is not met, explain the mismatch. And here we have the parts where we list all the conditions. So let's take a look at each one, one by one now. First one is at the top left, IRM organizations text is displayed prominently. So we can see it on the screenshot where that is. Then the next one is in the activity date range section, the word include is highlighted with a blue color. So you can see that this is not correct and that's on purpose because we want to make sure that uh, the Phi tree will actually be able to notice that this condition is not met with this screenshot. So we're doing this on purpose. And there is an icon of a question mark right next to the activity date range text. And there is no question mark icon next to the select activity date range. So that's also a little bit tricky, but those are two correct. And we'll see if it can, uh, if it can figure out those conditions. We're going to test the model using the Azure AI studio, and you can, uh, you can choose different models here. So we chose the one that we want to test, which is Phi tree vision with 128,000 token context. And here you can actually try it out for free. As you can see here, it's sign in. I, I'm not even sign in. You can just go, I will, I'll provide a link in the description and you can just go there and do your own tests uh, totally for free here. Let's bring up our prompt here and we are going to copy and paste it into uh, this form. Unlike GPT, where we can enter the system and user prompt separately, here we have only one form so we have to copy and paste everything in this one form. So we'll start with that system part, putting it here. Also, unfortunately, we cannot have a new lines here. So everything will be just one. Uh, it will look ugly, but it should still work. Then we have the user uh, prompt here. Let's add it at the end here. And then we're going to add our conditions. So in the conditions, uh, this is great. All the conditions are also here. Uh, and now we're going to add the screenshot. So this is the screenshot that you've seen before. Now we added it and let's run the query. Okay, so let's run this. It's generating, oh, and it showed that the test pass, which is incorrect because we know that one of the conditions was incorrect on purpose. The the highlight of the word include versus exclude. So it didn't notice that and it incorrectly said that the test passed, which just basically means that our, our test here failed. However, what I see here is that it looks like um, in this prompt, it actually skipped that keyword, the tag conditions. So maybe the special characters are not being accepted here or something. So maybe let's try to modify the prompt a little bit so that it doesn't use, instead of using the tag, it will just list those, those conditions one by one. So we'll do this, that make sure that condition listed, uh, 
in the below, instead of tag, I would say section. Um, okay, and then instead of using this as a tag, I will say conditions, and this is going to be just basically section like that, and we'll remove this. So that's a little bit modification. Let's see if this will give us some better results. Okay, so let's clean this up, everything here. Let's start new. Um, and let's do some copy pasting again. So we have this stem prompt. We're going with our new user prompt and listing the conditions in the list like that instead of a tag. Have this. We're adding the same screenshot again and let's see what the results now. Test pass again. So it seems like, and now we can see that the conditions keyword is here. So even with those changes, it still is unable to actually see that one of the condition is not being met. So we're getting consistently wrong results here. And I think that uh, tell us all that we need to know. However, before we conclude this video, I would maybe like to try the same prompt, but with completely different uh, screenshot of some other application, just to see if everything is working correctly here. Uh, if I give it completely different screenshot, it should find lots of issues with this conditions not being met. So let's see if that works. So this time as a screenshot, we actually gonna use this UI from Azure AI Studio that we are looking on right now. So I will add it here and that's the screenshot. So it's totally different than what we're describing here. And let's try again our prompt the same way as it was before. So obviously this time it should notice lots of issues because it's totally different UI compared to what we were trying before. So let's see if at least this works and how well that works. Okay, let's start it and test pass. So this is really, uh, this is really disappointing result. Then it looks like it's either really bad at recognizing those web UI screenshots or I'm doing something wrong. Let's try something else here. Let's add that screenshot of the Azure and let's just ask it to describe it for us and see how well it can do this. So describe what's in the um okay so it seems like it can see those things specifically model catalog so it was correct the bench plot sections for description model sign in yeah so it seems like it can see those pictures those screenshots it can recognize them but somehow when it comes to the details and recognizing some things that we're asking it for, it's just, it's just not good at that. Alternatively, maybe it's just not good at following the prompts. Let's try to debug it a little bit more and let's see what's going to happen. So we have here in our prompt, we say that if all conditions are met precisely as expected, answer with only the text, text pass and do not output any other text. So maybe we'll change this now. And instead of telling it not to output anything, let's actually force it to output something. So maybe we'll see what it's thinking and how it's analyzing that picture. So we are going to modify our prompt here. Um, here we're saying that if all conditions are met precisely as expected, answer with only the text text pass. We'll do answer with the text test pass and do not output any other text we're gonna say and list all the met conditions so with this we should be seeing some more uh, information in the output okay so let's use our new prompt here we'll clean this up and we're gonna use the screenshot of that azure web ui again so it's totally different than what we're asking and let's do our copy and pasting here again, system prompt. Then we're gonna go for this new prompt and listing all our conditions here. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen now. 
So it's thinking test pass. And let's see. At the top left, IRM organization takes display and prominently in the activity. So it listed everything that we actually asked it in the prompt, which that proves that it can actually understand what we're asking it for. It can understand those conditions that are supposed to be met. However, it still thinks that those conditions are met, even though the web UI screenshot that we gave it from this Azure AI Studio application is totally different, has nothing to do with those conditions that we listed here. Okay, so this concludes our tests. And the result is that the Phi3 model by Microsoft is not good at all at recognizing web UI screenshot, so it would be useless for any kind of automated web UI testing. It was consistently wrong. Uh, we're giving us wrong results. We did some debugging there just to make sure that it can understand our prompt, that it can actually recognize those any photos. And it seems like it can it understand the prompt, but it just fails at uh, correctly recognizing what's, what's on those screenshots. So the results are obviously bad. Um, the GPT-40 and GPT-4 Turbo that I tested last week, they fare better, but they were also not very good. You can check the video. Uh, I will put it in the description. And that's basically the conclusion. Next week, we'll try the Cloud3 Opus by Anthropic model, and we'll see if, uh, yeah, we'll see how that one works when it comes to the web UI testing. See you next week.